This morning, after massive demonstrations in Israel, a national labor strike erupting in protest of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's failure to reach a ceasefire deal with Hamas. Sunday, tens of thousands of Israelis poured into the streets after six more hostages, including one American, were found dead in Gaza. Israeli forensics determined Hamas shot all six of them at close range between Thursday and Friday morning. Earlier, Netanyahu saying whoever murders hostages does not want a deal. Among the hostages killed, 23-year-old American Hirsch Goldberg Pollen. This morning, his parents saying they are left with broken hearts at news of his death. The wife of Israeli-American hostage Keith Siegel, Aviva, a former captive released in November, saying her husband, shown alive in a Hamas video in April, same time as Goldberg Pollen, could be killed at any moment. We got the proof of life, but you know what? It's worth nothing. It's worth nothing. He could be killed now. He could be tortured now, starving and screaming for help. We need all the hostages home. President Biden and Vice President Harris have spoken to Goldberg Pollen's parents to offer their condolences. This, as Israel says, it believes there are still 101 hostages in Gaza, including seven Americans. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.